people have asked me how I turn a digital painting like this into a print like this. So in this video, I'm going to show you the basic steps I have to go through to turn uh, a painting into a print from Manga Studio EX5. And I'll explain a little bit about what I use and why I use it. This video is a part of the hashtag Digital Art Unleashed art hop. After this video is over, you can check the description box below and click on the next channel link to jump over to the next artist. Um, the most important part of printing a digital painting is to first create something. So right now I'm going to be printing this painting of shock, lock, and barrel. You can click here to see the process video for this painting. Once I've reached a point where I'm satisfied with a painting and I want to make a print of it, I do a few basic things. First, I go to File and down to Print. Then I click on Properties and I set my document size to match the size of my paper. Uh, setting the paper type correctly is important. I usually print on premium semi-gloss paper or premium photo, uh, premium glossy photo paper. Once the paper type is set to premium, I can now change the settings to best quality. And after everything is in order, I hit print preview to prevent any errors that might waste paper or precious ink. And finally, I sit back and I wait for it to finish. The printer I currently use is an Epson Workforce 7520. This printer has a large scanner on top, which I actually use to scan my sketch and line work for this piece. And uh, this printer allows me to print with pigment-based archival ink, as opposed to dye-based ink, uh, which is incredibly important to me when printing my artwork since dye-based inks will fade in a relatively short period of time. Another nice thing I love about this printer is that it allows me to make large 13 by 19 inch prints like these. And uh, now I know ink is expensive, so, and I, I knew I would be doing a ton of printing, so I invested in a continual ink system. These things can be frustrating, and there's definitely a learning curve, but for me, I found the trade-off to be absolutely worth it. Printers are frustrating creations, so why do I even bother to do any of this myself? Wouldn't it be easier to put it on a flash drive and have a company print it for me? Well, I enjoy the ability to be self-sufficient, and doing this gives me complete control over each print uh, to ensure that the print came out the way I intended it to. Um, I'm all too familiar with the, the uh, hair pulling frustration that comes along with printing at home. And so if you're a digital artist looking for a less frustrating method, there's always the option to have a print shop do, this, do the work for you. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. You can click here to see the next artist in the art hop. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>